Organizations have always had the need you know, to create this integrated and consistent view of all the data they have stored in their application silos. Uh, and over the years they have created lots and lots of systems that were able to present that integrated and consistent view. For example, they have created data warehouses, they have created data lakes, they have created data hubs. Uh, and all these systems have one thing in common, and that is that we copy data from the application silos uh, to a centralized database. Uh, and then the centralized database is then used, of course, to create uh, that integrated view. Now, there's a new kid on the block, right? Uh, the data fabric. Uh, the data fabric also tries to create this integrated view, this, this, uh, this consistent view of all the data. But they're not using the approach of copying the data. They're not copying the data from all those silos to one centralized database. Uh, what they do is they create this sort of software layer, uh, layer consisting of services that wraps all the existing application silos and then that service layer presents the integrated and consistent view. Now, interesting questions are, yeah, will the data fabric yeah, replace the data warehouse? Will it replace yeah, the data lake? So won't those databases be not needed anymore? Uh, another interesting question, of course, is, or will the two sort of augment each other? So will the fabric augment the more database-centric approaches? Uh, or will they coexist? Those questions I'm answering in my blog.